everybody will experience some kind of discomfort or injury during their life. And it can be a small back pain, but also rehabbing after an ACL reconstruction. And the best way to rehab from your injury is to understand your own beliefs. And this video will educate you about why illness beliefs are so powerful. Hi, and welcome to your Online. Before we move to the topic of why illness beliefs are so powerful, I would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel so more people can find true health information. Because if more people find our BS free information, more people will make better choices about their health during their lives. Because there is just too much rubbish information out there. Okay, now we get that out of the way, let's give you some true information. So illness beliefs, what are illness beliefs? Well, illness beliefs are beliefs or ways of thinking about your health or injury. And illness beliefs are individual per person and are acquired during your life. So the way you were raised or previous events can change your illness beliefs and maybe alter the way you heal or bounce back from an injury. So they can maybe alter your healing. And this had everything to do with the fact that there are two types of illness beliefs. Wright and Bell described it perfectly in their model from 2009 and they wrote that there are two types of beliefs. First, you have the facilitating beliefs and these beliefs are beliefs that increase the possibilities of finding alternative solutions to manage an illness and hence soft illness suffering. Constraining beliefs are beliefs about the illness that can restrict options, maintain the problems and enhance illness suffering. And everybody has some kind of beliefs. I even had constraining beliefs for a short period when I hurt my back a couple months ago. And the first belief that came in my mind was a bad and a constraining one. And I even know a lot about low back pain and I mean a lot. And because of my background as a physio and manual therapist, I could change my beliefs really fast, creating an environment that could help my recovery. So understanding your own beliefs when in pain may be a way to improve your health. But to take it even further, it's really important that we as healthcare professionals understand your illness beliefs. Because if we know what kind of beliefs you have, we can probably know how to adjust to them and to give you the right information. And we mentioned it a lot of times in our previous videos. We mostly give advice and information to our patients because having the right information already puts you in front in your own rehab or recovery. If you're not doing the right things or not making the right choices because of your illness beliefs, you're already down 2-0. So it is really important that we or your healthcare professional ask you how you think of your complaint. And if you have questions about your illness beliefs or you don't know if your beliefs are right, make sure to seek help in answering your questions. Maybe even consider getting an online appointment with us. The link is in the description down below. But what does the evidence tell us about illness beliefs? What constraining illness beliefs are harmful? If we take a look at a study from 2017 by Jeremo and others, they looked at multiple illness beliefs and they're linked to chronic widespread pain. And they found that constraining illness beliefs like my pain is going to be permanent, but also the belief that their pain will have negative consequences and will have emotional consequences are linked to more chronic widespread pain. So if you're in pain, try to change these beliefs first. But this study also looked at which beliefs can have a positive effect on your pain. They found that if people experience more control over their physical complaint, or if they believe the pain or complaint was treatable, the beliefs had less impact on their pain. And of course, this is only one study and there are plenty more that show the same conclusion but it shows the importance of having good beliefs about your complaint. And that's why we always talk about your beliefs. We ask you questions and most importantly, we ask you, why do you think that? Why do you think this complaint will become chronic? Or why do you think you need to take rest? Or why do you think your back pain is caused by nerve entrapment? Because we need to know why you think certain things before we can change your way of thinking. Because if you understand your complaint, you get rid of your complaint. All right, 
I hope this video helped you in understanding why illness beliefs are so important in rehabbing from an injury or getting rid of a complaint. And most important is that if you have certain beliefs about your complaint, but you're not sure if they are right, that you seek care or help in answering your questions. Oh, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you do so you don't miss out on our health, information, and injury-related videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.